Tucker and I approve this message. A president that they can sit down and have a beer with. So that's why I'm running in the 2032 elections on the National Happy Hour platform. My slogan, every hour is happy hour with Jonathan B. Tucker. My platform covers all the important issues. Healthcare, chips and salsa, all free. Taxes and beer, half off, but only on domestics. And I know you're already saying this is crazy. This is a joke. You can't cut taxes and afford to provide healthcare for everyone. Well, my fellow Americans, yes, we can. You want to know how? Yes. War and occupation are not allowed during happy hour. They violate the happy clause. <laughs> Unless occupation refers to your normally large buttocks invading and controlling the seas neighbor and yours, in which case exceptions can and will be made. I call it the butt can clause. But yes, happy hour in the military will be just like happy hour in the police station. Your guns are no longer needed. Instead, the cops will actually protect and serve us. All of us. Drinks. <laughs> Little ones and conservatives will have juice boxes. The military's budget will be devoted to saving lives rather than taking them. There will be no more wars on nouns and no future wars on adjectives, verbs, or modifiers either. The mentally ill will have their fill of pretzels and charge their psychologists and drinks by the hour for giving them a reason to have a job. But the extremely crazy will be put where they belong. Hollywood. Higher education will be like the upstairs and outdoor section during summer, open to everyone and damn it feels good up there. Schools will stop testing so that students can finally learn and enjoy doing so. Everyone will recycle everything and get paid handsomely for it. As President Tucker, I will, in ironic fashion, order all shirts untucked. This is happy hour. Happy hour in the prisons will be just like happy hour at the zoo. Everybody goes home, only to find that home has gone to happy hour. Half price wings are still too expensive to support flights, so the penguins will drink, because their fancy suits are just that, fancy suits with no pockets. Inmates will become outmates and help each other stop smoking. Rival gangs will become new political parties and debate the constitutionality of drive-bys as a national security measure. I'm against it. The death penalty will be given the death penalty. I'm against that too. Happy Claws! Only non-lethal injections during my happy hour, which will be every hour if you vote for me. I tell you, our nation needs this. We need to get so wasted that we drunk dial everyone we've ever wronged and apologize profusely. It's gonna take a lot of drinks and a lot of humble state officials, but we can do it. Yes, we can. I will start with Cuba. We'll stop pissing on our shake Florida, put it back in our pants, and wash our hands. I'll invite Asada home and offer her the very million dollar bounty still on her head for her forgiveness. This is my national security strategy. Enemies turn to friends, or at least acquaintances who don't wish us harm. You see, you don't fight the guy who bought you a drink. You fight the one who inappropriately touched your sister. So I will buy everybody drinks and stop touching their sisters, I swear. I'll share hummus with Hamas. I'll be real with Israel. I'll bring them both to the table and then drink them under it. You want a president you can have a beer with? Well, I want to get drunk on power. So vote for me in the National Happy Hour.